Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 2, Episode 6 of Avatar The Last Airbender called The Blind Bandit. So we started with Sokka shopping and he really wants his um, messenger bag and he's like, should I get it? It's kind of expensive and Qatar is like, you should get something nice. And so he ended up getting it. And so they, um, see, then this guy hands them a flyer about this earthbending academy, and it's very stupid. He's like, pay for the year, and I'll bump you up to the next bell. And over here is um, two people talking about um, wrestling, and so Katara got info, thanks to the dudes, because uh, uh, Aang asked, and they were kind of rude about it, and so Katara fixed that by freezing their heads together. <laughs> And it's called Earth Rumble 6, and the boulder wins, and then you have the Fire Nation <laughs> does his um, national anthem, and um, they blast him, and Sokka is loving this, and Guitar like, she couldn't be bothered <laughs> at all. And then the Black Bandit is up, which is Toph. And so this is like her official, official intro. And it's a very intense match, but it looks like an easy win for her. So they ask anyone else, does anybody else want to step up? And Aang does it because she, he just wanted to talk to her because she waited and listened. So he feels like that's supposed to be her teacher. And plus like um, that laugh, it sounded like the laugh that he saw in the vision in the swamp. So... He's just trying to talk to her, and he kind of talk uh, taunts her. He taunt, she taunts him. <laughs> wow! And uh, so he air bends her out when she sent a boulder at him. Then Toph um, pays him no mind after afterwards, and they got money and the belt. And so they're looking around, and they run into these two guys again, and they're like. Oh, Lord, it's y'all again. <laughs> and Aang wanted information, and the Katara got all the information out of him, and talking about there's the Bayfon family, but they say they had no daughter, though, but it's the only one that has a flying boar. So, uh, when they're leaving, they were like, you better run. Katara's like, and Sucko's like, water drive. Out. <laughs> then, um, we cut to where they arrive, um, at the, the estate, and, um, then we catch her with the boulder thing is that she took a dive. Then Toph will not help them at all and just kind of goes, cards, cards, help. So she acts like she's a helpless girl, but she's not. So Aang drops by formally to the family and then suggests, and the father suggests Master Yu, who is the shady kind of dude that's like, I'll bump you up to the next level if you pay for a year. Then we have Toph as being shady and Aang fires back. So every time he tries to bring up Toph's like abilities and stuff, she kind of shuts it down. And um, so they, so later on after dinner, and so well actually Aang he sneezed on them <laughs> with his air bending. <laughs> so anyway, um, afterwards Toph and Aang talk it out and saying that she can. Um, Seeds with earth, earth bending like the um, ants, um, ang, just everything around the world she can feel through vibrations. And that's how she sees. And then we cut to where the, um, she's jealous of Aang because he gets to travel around like however he wants. There's no really no rules or anything. And then we cut to where they're being ambushed and the rest of the people tape them and they want 500 gold pieces and so they arrive to do that, and they only let Toph go, and the Fire Nation wanna poster is why they're keeping Aang, because they want all that money. Then, um, Katara managed to get Toph to help them, and she's like, no, no, they're all mine. And you have like, the most intense action scene ever so far, and it is hysterical the way they all get knocked out. And um, it was really, really cool. And the dad is in shock. And even the her teacher, you, was like, she's like the greatest earthbender ever. And uh, so then we go back to um, the Beifang's house. And Toph really wants to go with Aang. But her dad shuts it down and is going to keep even stricter, stricter restrictions on her. Try to say that fun times fast, seriously. 
Anyway, so um, he grounds her, puts her on 24 hours surveillance, and kicks out the Avatar. Then, as um, Aang and everyone's about to leave, Toph shows up. She said that her dad changed her mind, but she lied. She ran away, and the parents think that the Avatar kidnapped her, which was not true, and hired the shady dude that's in charge of the entire earthbending rumble thing, and you. So they'll be working together to get Toph back by any means necessary. And that was the end of the episode. It was a really good episode. We get to see Toph's intro, which was pretty cool. And the way she, the way they show her earthbending is super cool because she can feel the vibrations of someone about to do an attack and her blocking it, which was super freaking awesome, actually. And the action scenes were really, really well done. I really enjoyed it. And just the whole show in general is just so fun to watch. Anyway, um, that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below to what you think of the episode. Do you agree? Disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. And uh, I remember what else I also want to talk about. I think it's kind of shocking that her dad placed strict, stricter restrictions on her. And he knows that she's like a boss earthbender. Like, she's really good. But he just sees her as a frail little girl. But she's 12. And she knows how to handle herself like she's really really good anyway now it's really the end of uh, the video so uh subscribe if you want to uh catch you i'll see you on my next video i can't talk anymore bye everybody <laughs>